Hi, my name is Terence. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a flow graph that will allow the object to change the scale uh, in x, y, and z value depending on the distance between the object and the AI. So, um, the further away I get from the object, it gets bigger, and the closer I get, it gets smaller. So, uh, you get the picture. Um, so we're going to start a brand new one, so start from the beginning. So what you want to do now in the beginning uh, is to go to Entity, um, go to AI, and uh, Grunt. And make sure your snap to, snap to Terrain is on, and you, you just drag it out here and put it anywhere you like. So that's the Grunt. Um, again, select Entity, and this time you select uh, physics and then um, drag a basic entity again make sure um, the terrain snap to terrain is on again and I place it anywhere and you want to give it a, a body so a model um, so we use the same one as a two for tutorial so this is the body um, yeah so after this you want to go down to flow graph and to click create so um, this is where you create um, a flow graph, so we give the name scaling, and you get this blank page. And this is where you start. So you add node, uh, go miscellaneous, and start. This is to start the game. Um, and next you go to add node again, logic, logic any, and add node again, time. Um, time delay um, output to in the one um, up to up, up to time delay and out to in the this is to loop um, the time so gives it a value of 0 0.1 and you have a loop every single one second next you want to get the position of the two objects so in this case, uh, you go to add node, um, entity, and the entity uh, I get pause, and you get two of them because there's two. You want to assign um, the ID to one to the cube, one to the soldier. So add node again, um, entity, and entity ID same thing you copy and paste you get two of them okay so you drag it to the side um, make sure you selected the box and um, you go to one of the um, ID and you assign graph entity and you select the grunt and you go to another one and you s assign selected entity so this is ground number two so you give the id to get the position of um, the cube and the player and, and, and the ai sorry next you want to get a vector and uh, you, you want to sub the vector so this is to get the position so two vectors and from here uh, you want to get another vector and, and it gets a bit tricky but um, bear with me uh, you get there so so far what we have here is start loop for one second and you get the um, entity um, position and the so in this case is the soldier and the cube and this is what we're going to do with the numbers the x y and z value and not again um you go to mat and do multiply and copy and paste those you need three of them because you want to have x y and z value so just multiply by itself And from here, you want to square it. So, mat again. Um, 
the square. Copy and paste through the And from there, um, you get a vector 2 by 3. So x, y, and z. And last note that we're going to add is an entity. And this is what we're going to change the scaling of the entity. Um, entity pos. So, um, again, um, Go back to your game. Make sure you select your cube, and go back to your flow graph and assign graph entity, and to scale. So that's basically it. So that's um, the tutorial, and um, this is the flow graph that you need to use in order to um, get the scaling going on. So I'll just close this. And let's check if it works. And let's grab this guy and hey, yeah, there you go, it works. So, um, and that's that. And thank you for watching for uh, watching my tutorial.